Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to use lightning knowledge in a public community. So I'm going to have a public knowledge base based on lightning uh, knowledge articles. And then I will be displaying all those uh, lightning knowledge articles in a public experience cloud site. First, we have to go to setup. We have to go to knowledge settings and then we have to enable lightning knowledge. Once lightning knowledge is enabled, we have to go to data category setup in Salesforce setup. You can create couple of uh, data categories. So I have created two data categories here. One is FAQ and the other one is sample. Next, create couple of knowledge articles and make sure they are published. And one more important thing is there is a checkbox called visible in public knowledge base. So that should be enabled else guest user won't be able to view the knowledge article. So I have created three knowledge articles. This is an example. I have made sure this visible in knowledge public knowledge base is enabled and then I have assigned the data category as sample. Next, I have created one more testing knowledge article. Data category is set, uh, set to FAQ and the visible in public knowledge base is also enabled here. Similarly, I created one more with the data category sample and uh, this particular checkbox visible in public knowledge base is enabled. So all these three knowledge articles can be viewed by guest user since this visible in public knowledge base is enabled. Okay. Next, you can create a simple experience side uh, site cloud. So next go to builder after creating an experience cloud site and make sure the public can access the site is enabled. So I'm making this experience cloud uh, only for guest user. So I have set it to uh, true here. Public can access the site. And after once you have done this under the settings um, and under general tab, go to topic detail page. In the topic detail page, it will be public because uh, the site is made as public. And in the topic detail page, I have added two standard components. One is trending articles by topic all these variables and the configurations would have been already populated by Salesforce. So uh, no changes needed from our end. So this is a headline. This was also already there. And this top topic metrics is also already there. So I have added three components in the topic detail page and all these three are standard um, experience cloud components. One is headline, the other one is trending articles by topic and the last one is topic metrics. Publish the site. And uh, one more important thing is you have to do content management. In order to do that, go to settings. In general tab, click set navigational topics. So once you go to the navigational topics, you will see navigational topics, topic management, article management and automatic topic uh, management. Um, if I, uh, go to topic management first, click new and then create a couple of topics. I'm going to map all the data categories in Salesforce to the topics. So I created two topics with the same uh, data categories like FAQ and sample. So I created two topics here. Once you are uh, done with the creation of topic, you wanted to assign all the articles to the topic. So in order to do that, go to automatic topic assignment. Here, select FAQ. So this is the data category. And here you have to select the topic which you created in the experience cloud for that particular data category. So here I am selecting FAQ and make sure you are enabling this checkbox. Add about topics to all existing articles in the data category. So 
if there are few uh, articles um, um, in uh, data category FAQ then all those articles will be assigned to the FAQ topic which is created in topic management similarly you can do it for all other data categories so I created uh, uh, sorry now I selected sample data category group I have selected uh, uh, sample topic here which I created from the topic management and then I have enabled this checkbox so that all the existing articles which were created as part of this data category group sample will be uh, tagged as sample topic so once this is done click save again publish the experience cloud site and uh, next important thing is access to the guest user uh, you have to open the uh, public community profile in order to do that under settings under general you can click the name of the uh, experience cloud site followed by profile so this is the link to the profile for the guest user so once you click it go to object settings select knowledge object make sure you give read access to the object uh, giving just read access uh, won't help you have to give the proper field level security for all the fields that the guest user can see if you have any sensitive information make sure to uncheck read access so that the sensitive information is not leaked to the guest user so once the object and the field access uh, are given now go to the same profile and go to data category visibility in the data category visibility I have selected both the data categories and then I have set the visibility to all so that I can view all the uh, articles which are um, as part of this FAQ and uh, sample data categories okay so now this is the website link or the experience cloud site link I am going to open it so this is my experience cloud site which is public and I am not logged in uh, it is uh, uh, viewing as a guest user so now uh, one more important thing what I forgot was in the experience cloud site uh, we have to give the navigation menu I have added knowledge articles and the type should be navigational topic by default it will give the name as topics you can change it to uh, however uh, um, your use case matches and again publish the uh, experience cloud site so now I'm going to select FAQ so for uh, FAQ uh, topic I have one article and the name of the article is testing if I click I can view the article if, if I select sample there are two articles and the matrix uh, shows as two and the uh, topic name is sample there are two articles the guest users can also search here thank you for watching